With Commissioner Janusz Wojciechowski, we look at the future of European agriculture. Commissioner Wojciechowski, we are at the European University Institute State of the Union Conference. What is, in your view, the main challenge for European agriculture? Now, in the short term, the main challenge is the uh, uh, Russian aggression against Ukraine and the consequences of this aggression, illegal, unprovoked, unjustified aggression. Uh, there is this human tragedy, but also there are, there are negative consequences for the for the food security. Uh, we could observe the, the uh, increase of the prices in uh, agricultural input prices, huge increase, gas prices, fertilizer prices. This is the consequence of the uh, Russian policy, imperial policy preparation to the aggression, and uh, to be united in face of this 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 aggression this is very important european union is is united we support farmer affected by this this uh, huge crisis uh, there's a european commission decided to open the uh, framework for for state aid um, uh, uh, member states can support the farmers interesting that the, the the biggest program to support farmers is in italian program one and 1.2 billion euro the second is polish uh, program but uh, it was the uh, commission decision to open this this opportunity to support farmers to survive during this crisis this is the main challenge a uh, political challenge but also we have the climate events drought is in the uh, long term perspective we have to make uh, our agriculture more resilient for the climate events and the, the third challenge is the economic and social challenge, lack of generational renewal. This is the problem that we have. Uh, the, the young people don't like to be a farmer mm -hmm. and we have to, to uh, support them. To, to strengthen the, the, the farmers economically and also to improve condition of life on rural areas. This is a huge challenge. Yeah. So basically we're talking about two important challenges, war uh, and climate change and also the fact that uh, young people need to warm up to farming. But um, if, you, if you would turn these uh, challenges into opportunities, what opportunities are there for European agriculture? Uh, I think that uh, we, we, we are in Italy and uh, the Italian way of the, to develop the agriculture is this this uh, is good way, good track. Uh, be, the, uh, the system based on the on the small scale farms, family farms, well organized all food uh, system, good cooperation between farmers, uh, processing industry and market. Local market is very important. And uh, first of all, the quality of food. This is the chance for whole European Union farmers. The Italy is a good example, the, the leader of, the, uh, of uh, geographical indications, for example, the high quality of food, the good mm. promotion of food. Uh, this is the chance European, uh, of the European agriculture. Uh, high quality food, organic food, uh, this is this is not the quantity. The, uh, interesting that comparing to the uh, United States agriculture, the United States they have uh, two times more agricultural land than European Union, but production is bigger in European Union. Oh, they have 190 hectares average size of the farms. In European Union is 17 hectares. In Italy 11 hectares, but uh, the, our agriculture is uh, more productive. We need to continue this direction yeah. to, to strengthen, uh, to support uh, small and medium-sized family farms. Yeah, Just, so basically point and focus on, on quality of, of European, European agriculture. I can imagine that in your work as Commissioner for Agriculture, you come across some misconceptions about agriculture and also about mm -hmm. agricultural policy. So, so mm -hmm. could, you, could you name us one mm -hmm. of those misconceptions? I think the main misconception is this, this way of thinking that uh, uh, to the uh, agriculture can be productive only in large scale. Only big farms that are, that are pro can be productive, but uh, watching for the, for the uh, individual countries like, like Italy, the success of Italian agriculture is based on the small scale uh, family farms model. 
I like to this, this <laughs> to use this opportunity to thank uh, all Italian farmers for their effort to ensure food security uh, in these very difficult circumstances during COVID-19 pandemic, during this uh, crisis, uh, which is uh, caused by the Russian aggression against Ukraine. Italy is 8% of uh, farmland in European Union and 18% of gross added value in, in, in production. This is huge success. And this, uh, yeah, that... Uh, uh, this is uh, the problem is that that many people some also the politicians they think that we need to concentrate uh, land to to make uh, farms bigger and bigger more intensive no this is not a good way we have to strengthen the the current model of agriculture based on the small and medium sized family farms thank you commissioner Wojciechowski you. for introducing us to the current challenges and the future of european agriculture it was a pleasure to have you maybe maybe to summarize that we need uh, for the for the future of agriculture we need maybe four as principle security stability sustainability and solidarity security for all people food security stability for farmers first of all economical stability sustainability for environment and climate agriculture friendly to the environment and, and, and climate and solidarity this is very important our role in the global food security european union is the one of the biggest food producers and the biggest food exporter and we have to continue this this direction continue thank you very much. much thank you for being here thank you thank you